best state or cities to wholesale real estate in so let's get straight to the question okay um our question here says what state Hey, this is Ola coming to you live from my Empire Pro Studios. On this episode, we're talking about the best state or cities to wholesale real estate in. So let's get straight to the question. Okay, um, our question here says, what state has mass resorts in terms of someone who wants to relocate to guest to get first flip? All right, so... Um, if you follow what I do on this channel, the way I teach you uh, is basically you could do this from anywhere in the world as long as it's a laptop and there is internet connection, decent internet connection, okay? Not dial-up, broadband, okay? Uh, just, just so you know, it will make your life a lot more easier if you have a decent internet connection. As long as you have a laptop and that, then you can absolutely do this business from anywhere in the world because it's really about information. It's about flipping information. The way I teach you is about flipping information into leads, flipping leads into deals, and then do it all over and over again, okay? Um, but before we get into all of that, this person is asking questions specifically about real estate wholesale. And I think it's very, very important that I define what is real estate wholesale. Real estate wholesale is the heart and the science of finding deeply discounted properties using mass marketing, okay, mass media marketing, and then locking house on the contract. Then that contract flipping the right to executing that contract to another person to actually execute the sale. And then you make a fee for finding the deal okay that's essentially traditionally what it is but with the method that i teach here i'm teaching you a method where you skip 80 percent of the hustle okay and by doing so you're able to make six figures income or more per year with the process that i teach you and then you're able to thirdly you can literally 10x the deals that you close all right so if you want more information about that just come on inside and download the book for free at smartrealestatewholesaling.com now that's the definition right there of real estate wholesale so if you're now looking for uh this person says what state has mass results okay we're living in the digital age okay so in the united states of america you can do this in any state okay now if you're doing the traditional method the traditional method obviously will kind of like restrain you uh to, you need some kind of advantages so it's kind of probably better for you to start in your backyard but if you're understanding that, well, this is 2000 and digital and uh, it's about information, it's about being able to flip information, then you can literally do this from anywhere. Uh, and, and in addition to that, you can do any state. So I would just say, instead of calling yourself a virtual wholesaler or remote wholesaler or any of these things, basically you run an international business as long as there's internet connection and uh, you can do this in any state in America. The bottom line is that you're looking for motivated sellers, okay? And that's everywhere in any part of this country, okay? And, uh, and then uh, you're looking for distressed sellers and you're looking for a market that people are looking to move into, people are looking to buy more properties and, you know, you're looking for economy, okay? And basically you can do that in any part of this country. Uh, it's about volume, it's about building a list, it's about owning your own platform and being able to do that over and over and over again. And you can do that in any part of this nation. Now, if you, are, if you approach the business in that way, okay, uh, eventually you will collect some data for your own good. Now, if you depend on the gurus to give you data, of course, they will be biased based on what's working for, for them at that point in time. And that's always the wrong way to go, especially we're talking real estate right now. If you're dealing with uh, digital marketing, internet marketing, of course, people have enough data to tell you uh, this, that. But in real estate, a lot of these guys are still doing old school 
uh, traditional marketing and of course if they're consistent enough in whatever strategy they choose even if it's driving for dollars right if they're consistent enough or if they put a system in place to create consistency they will close deals okay but they will basically be biased and tell you like okay it's better in arizona it's better in new jersey it's better you know it's better where they want to do more business because they're also very old school and traditional but if you understand that people are doing this deal anywhere in this nation then basically all you have to focus on is finding ways to serve everybody in this business okay find ways to serve more people in this business what do i mean by that let's break it down okay you need a motivated seller you need the same thing as distressed seller that means somebody that has a reason to want to get rid of a property they need to sell as of yesterday in other words they don't have time to question you or your credibility they just need to get rid of the property if they still have time to say well are you guys legit or um, is your paperwork really valid can i show you show this to my lawyer which they have the right legal right to do that if they still have time for any of these little things chances are there's a very increased chances that they're not motivated and you're gonna waste a lot of time but like i said with my methods you're gonna skip all of that there's enough people in the game of real estate wholesaling finding deals they don't even know what to do with the deals okay they 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 find a deal lock a property on that contract but no one is willing to buy or they show it to some gurus and the guru will say hey the deal is very bad and things like that or it's not a good enough deal you have enough of those people already okay so you coming into the game and join that part of the game uh forgetting that there's another end of the game which we call disposition which means you have to actually assign the contract to an end buyer some people call them cash buyer it's all cash uh you know basically you want to make sure it's not a conventional mortgage because that can make your life a lot harder but at the end of the day if it's a deal it's a deal okay and there are simple numbers simple factual numbers you can look up and see if this deal is a deal if you find 60 cent on a dollar deal and you adjust that number for how much work of repair it needs okay yes based off of the opinion that you have you will have a deal in your hands but it will not be a deal if you're dealing with just five cash buyers in your local township okay if that's all you have on your list it's not gonna be a deal if all you depend on is calling these gurus or texting these gurus if they're interested in the deal then it's not it's most likely not gonna be a deal because again you don't have options does that make sense you don't have option you're basically at the mercies of these few people and then you wonder why it's not working it's not working because you put yourself in a position where you don't have options so back to the question what state has mass results there's results everywhere even in the most rural place there are ways to do business in that area but if you depend on just that area or one cash buyer or five cash buyers obviously your options are streamed down to almost none and we're talking about luxury purchases okay we're talking about people uh dishing out fifty thousand sixty thousand dollars hundred thousand dollars to do deals right of course you're at their mercies and they're looking for ways to buy houses at one cent on the dollar if it's possible right uh but the key thing here focus on the simple formula of 60 cents to 70 cents on a dollar learn how to do that in mass what's the best way to do that in mass find ways to serve the mass amount of people out there 500 wholesalers joining the business every day find a way to serve them okay build a list a massive list of potential buyers okay people looking to make money from home people looking to make money from real estate people looking to make extra income right all these people are potentially buyers for you at the very minimum they are they have a bias network in their database in their phone in their phone in their in their phone device they have amount they have a, a ridiculous amount of contacts in those in those databases and find ways to tag on to that and take advantage of that all right so let me break that down a little bit okay it's a bias network it's not a bias list there's going to be someone on your list that has access to another buyer or that has access to people who have money right some of them are wholesalers some of them are realtors 
some of them are inspectors some of these are appraisers okay some of them are just regular people that are learning about the game for the first time and they're like wow i can buy real estate 60 cents on the dollar minus 20 cents to fix it and i can flip it for a dollar and i make 20 cent extra and i could do that over and over again they're learning that for the first time sometimes they want to buy a course on how to do that right so how can you be in a position to serve all of these people right how can you become a one-stop shop for these people right that's the mindset you want to have and this simple formula i just shared with you you can do that from anywhere in the world so when this person says somebody who wants to relocate to get the first flip do not relocate to get your first flip it's absolutely not necessary it's 2000 and digital you can be where you are as long as there's internet okay and as long as there's a uh, a laptop you can do this from anywhere you are in the world and basically the key thing is to find a way you can bring value to the marketplace and you can do that from anywhere in the world okay the people that make the most money in any business including real estate wholesaling including the business of wholesaling real estate the 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 people that make the most money are people that bring the most value to the marketplace and it's very hard to bring the most value to the marketplace if you have just five cash buyers on your list or even anything less than 100 it's just going to be harder so what i suggest is set up a system that's perpetually building a list perpetually okay a list of buyers network people that have access to other buyers and find a way to connect with the people that already have deals there's tons of them everywhere there's 500 wholesalers coming into the game every day the way you set yourself apart and now become put yourself in a competitive position when i say competitive not not competitive advantage com not put yourself in a competitive disadvantage against that is to find a way to serve these people and that's what i'm talking about so right now just go download this book at smartrealestatewholesaling.com uh smart real estate host of the name of the game and i have a new book called real estate money secrets if you're interested just go to smart real estate wholesaling.com and download that and it will take you through the path to set up your own we have like an 11 days challenge thing going on and you can take advantage of that hopefully you've been enlightened and educated i'll see you on the next one peace